Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about setting up the Real Sim Gear GNS 530. And I'm going to go through the setup process right now. First thing I want to do is download the plugin, which I am doing now. And the plugin, of course, is in my downloads folder. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract it here which will create this folder called Real Sim Gear GNS X30. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to take it to my X-Plane folder into Resources and then Plugins. And I know I'm going quickly but you can always just back this thing up and do it again. I already have it in here so just pretend that wasn't already here. And so I'm going to paste the plugin in. So in, again, inside of X-Plane Resources Plugins folder, you have the Real Sim Gear GNS X30, and the file structure should, inside of that should look something like that. So that's step one: install the plugin. Step two is we have to overwrite the bezel um, artwork. So the bezel for the 530 would show up on our GNS 530, and we don't want that. We don't want, we have physical buttons, so we don't want the virtual buttons and frame and all that to show up. So I'm going to right click here to download its replacement artwork for the GNS 530. And I want you to save link as, and then again, you go to your C drive, wherever you have X-Plane installed. And you go to X-Plane 11, and you follow this path that they have here on the website. You go to Resources, Bitmaps, Cockpit, Radios, GPS, FMS, and then you want to overwrite the file. And for some reason, mine is named funny. It should be GPS 532D and you hit save and it should say that it's going to replace the file. Now you may want to create a backup of this file before you replace it, um, but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, I'm going to replace that file with the artwork I downloaded from their website. And again, this would this gets rid of the bezel on the Garmin 530. Do keep in mind when you run an X-Plane update, it will probably see that this file has been modified and ask you, hey, do you want to overwrite this file? We see it's been modified and you'll most likely want to say no um, unless you want to have to redo this little process I just did to download the uh, artwork. Um, so we've got our plugin installed and we've got our um, artwork installed. The next thing we need to do is look at our monitor configuration. So when you plug in the real sim gear GNS 530, it has an HDMI cable, which you need to plug into an HDMI port. It has a USB cable, which you need to plug into a USB port. And it has power. And once you have all that hooked up, if you go to display settings, you'll see you have an extra monitor over here. This is the real sim gear uh, box. It acts like a monitor. And you should drag this box and orient it however it is around your display. Mine is kind of to the lower left of uh, my main display, so I'm going to do it like that and hit apply. And that way when I drag my mouse off the bottom of the screen, it seamlessly flows down to this second display, which is my Real Sim Gear 530. Now the other thing I had to do was change the orientation to landscape flipped on this GNS 530 display. Mine was upside down. That might be something that they correct in future releases of this product, but if you find your display is upside down, come into the display properties in Windows and change it to landscape flipped. And our resolution, we want it to stay at 1280 by 720, that's fine. And then um, the, the display that's going to have X-Plane on it, make sure that setup is your main display. That needs to be your main display. And so that is all of the setup for uh, before you go into X-Plane. That's basically the installation. And now we'll show you how to use it. 
Okay, so now we're in X-Plane. Ignore the yoke gyrating down here. It's just because I haven't programmed it yet. Um, what you need to do to get your 530 to work is, well, first of all, go up to Plugins and make sure you see the Real Sim Gear plugin and go to Connected Hardware and make sure you see your Real Sim Gear GNS 530 or 430, whatever it is you have. And uh, we do, so that means it's going to work. Uh, and what the plugin does is it allows the buttons to work around the edges of this uh, device. Um, the display itself is driven by the display of the GNS 530 in X-Plane. So you click on it and notice since we replaced that artwork earlier in the video, notice how there's no bezel around this thing. It's just like the digits and the you know information. There's no buttons or knobs or anything showing, and that's because we have physical buttons and knobs on our GNS 530. In the upper right-hand corner of this window, I just have to sort of feel for it, but you see there's that little kind of double boxy thing. Click on that, and that pops it out into a window. Now I can drag this window down onto my GNS 530 and maximize it. Now I know you can't see that, so in a second I'm going to cut to a video of me doing this and showing you on a video camera of how to do it. Uh, but that's all there is to it. You don't have to leave the cockpit up if you want to go to forwards with nothing. Um, you can do that and the, the Garmin will still work. So um, next we'll show you what that looks like on the video camera. Okay, so as promised, this is the Garmin 530 or G, GNS 530 from Real Sim Gear showing it uh, using the video camera. And as you can see, it looks like another monitor in Windows. In fact, if I go down here, I actually have a little start menu, I, if you can read that. It's really, really small. Obviously, you wouldn't use it in this regard. But just to show you that it is just like having another monitor on your computer. Um, so this centerpiece is a monitor, but then you have all these buttons around the edges. And what enables those buttons to do, um, to, to work, is the plug-in that gets installed that we showed you how to install earlier in the, uh, the video. So that plug-in will enable all these buttons around the edges to work and you know, in our testing it works exactly like the real thing. The buttons do everything they're supposed to do. You notice I already had it opened up. I'm just going to close that. Uh, ignore the yoke flashing down here. It's because I haven't actually calibrated it. So if I click on the 530 over here, it pops it out into a window like that. And then in the upper right corner, it's kind of hard to see, you click and that puts it into like a Windows window where you can drag it. And I'm just going to drag it off the bottom of the screen because that's how I have my um, monitors oriented in my Windows display properties. And then I'm just going to maximize it. And you see now we have the 530 here and I can turn the knob here and I can hit the active standby. You see the numbers changing. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know how to use a Garmin, um, but all of these buttons do work as designed. And so there it is. Hopefully you know how to use a Garmin 530 better than I do. But you can see everything that's happening here is also happening over in X-Plane at the same time. And so even if you had your cockpit completely just gone, you could still use this Garmin and everything would work as it should. So there you go. There's how you set up the Real Sim Gear uh, GNS 530. Look for another video where Tom, and this may be a couple of days before we get it out, but where Tom kind of shows you how to use it and how it works. Uh, in a little more detail than I just did.